Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports and some breaking news with regards to the British and Irish Lions tour to South Africa. There's been a whole readjusted fixture list for the tour that has finally been confirmed by SA Rugby. A couple of rumours swirling around about the tour is going to have changed and certain fixtures are going to be revised, especially about venues. Um, and that has now been confirmed. Before we look at that in terms of what it means for tickets and, and what ticket sales and stuff like that, please do smash like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. We are aiming so much um, coverage of this Lions tour. We've got so many plans. It's going to be one of the most in-depth coverage of a tour of this kind ever. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you are part of that. Right, so as we all know, obviously with the current situation in South Africa, and even now it's looking even worse. It's looking a bit grim with cases now surging over 3,000 um, as of last night. Um, so stadiums um, opening are looking a little bit less likely, but the main biggest, the biggest problem, the biggest obstacle towards a tour of this magnitude is the traveling. And there were games that were planned in um, Durban, in Quebec, in um, in Mombela Stadium, in um, in um, Mumalanga. So there were supposed to be games all across the country, and that was always going to be a major issue. You know, there's a lot of different traveling, a lot of different venues having to change hotels, having to change training stations and stuff like that a lot of the time. And that was going to be potentially one of the major sort of obstacles towards this tour itself. As a result, they have now limited games to um, four stadiums. And all the games will be played in either Gauteng or in the Western Cape in Cape Town. Um, and what's going to happen is that there's no longer an SA Invitational game. That has now been replaced with a Lions rugby versus the Lions. Lions versus Lions. Um, as a Lions fan, I cannot believe we have to do this we are so short on players at the moment and now we have to try and take on a full-blooded um british and irish lions team but at the same time at the time when it was announced i was pretty angry that when you think the lions have been so consistent over all these years that we weren't going to get a lions um game so the tour will the tour dates are the same it'll kick off on saturday the 3rd of july it will be the emirates lions versus the british and irish lions that will be at emirates airline park on Wednesday, the 7th of July, will be the Sharks versus the Lions again at Emirates Airline Park. Saturday, the 10th of July, will now be the Bulls versus the British and Irish Lions at Loftus. After that, it will then be the Stormers versus the Lions at Cape Town Stadium. Following that, um, sorry, it, no, after that, we're going to be the SAA, SAA versus um the British and Irish Lions are the first game in Cape Town. That'll be on the 14th of July. Then on the 17th of July, it will be the Stormers versus the Lions, also at Cape Town Stadium. The first test will then be in Cape Town as well on Saturday, the 24th of July. So you can see sort of, sort of see the, the, the pattern here. It's three games in Gauteng, then going to Cape Town for three games in a row in Cape Town. And then they come back to Gauteng and there will be two tests Saturday the 31st of July, Saturday the 7th of August at the FNB Stadium. So, no test at um, Emirates Park and um, no tests or no games at um, Kings Park and Nelson Mandela Bay Stadium and um, Imbombela Stadium. So, those are the big changes. In terms of tickets, all ticket holders for the original schedule will be receiving a full refund if you have tickets you will be receiving a full refund by sa rugby um sa resident ticket holders so if you're a south african resident and you have tickets you will then be given the first right to purchase tickets for the revised schedule if restrictions allow for fans back in the stadium so if you have tickets and you're a south african resident you will get a full refund of what you paid and then you will be given first option to buy tickets to the new schedule if there are fans allowed so if you're from Durban and Guayaca um, and um, Imbombela or Nalspreit, you will then have to travel to Cape Town or Gauteng if you want to um, watch these games. So it does make things a little bit more complicated. Um, they, I think SA Rugby are being quite optimistic in thinking that they're going to have fans. I don't think that we are going to have fans in stadiums, unfortunately. But if you if we can, you can understand the thinking of having two tests at the FNB Stadium. It's an 80,000... Um, almost 90,000 seat a stadium. So if you have 25% capacity, you can still put 20,000 people in there. Um, so you can have 40,000 people over the two weekends. Um, so yeah, it's it's interesting because if there are if there are fans allowed, you can put a lot of people in the FNB stadium while still sort of keeping it to you know one in every one in every four seats type thing. Um, what will be probably probably quite problematic, I think, will be the price tickets. I think they will probably increase given the fact that they're going to be at the very, very, very 
most 50% capacity. I don't even think they're going to get that. I think we're going to get more sort of 20, 30%. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if we now sort of get a, a, an increase on the price tickets and what the demand will be. You know, people being in a different financial situation, um, maybe a different um, sort of situation in terms of traveling, stuff like that. So it is going to be quite complicated. But hopefully at this stage, this means that we can have a fairly uninterrupted Lions tour as opposed to these teams going to these different cities, going on different flights, going on different buses, staying in different hotels, training at different grounds. Um, and heightening the potential risk of outbreaks within the sides, because that's the most important thing, that the sides, the actual players, do not get compromised so that this tour is going, can go ahead. Um, so it's going to be quite an interesting tour, I think not quite the tour that we all thought it was going to be or planned for, but unfortunately this is the kind of situation I think we just have to be grateful that we will be seeing a tour at all. Um, unfortunately, if you were not going to be able to get to the, to, um, the stadium and stuff like that, make sure you subscribe to the channel because we will be covering the entire tour as well. So make sure you're subscribed. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steven and I'll chat to you very soon.